I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits. We are going to discuss about the number E in this particular video. Now, since we are talking about limits, it is very interesting to note that the limit of 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x when x approaches 0 is also E. Now, we'll actually prove this using three different ways. So, for the beginners, who are just learning about limits, what they can do is they can just graph the function, right? So one method is to graph the function. So you could graph and see what happens when x is approaching 0, right? Uh, for those who have already done a part of calculus and they are aware about derivatives, they can use the definition of derivatives to get the result. Perfect. And those who have already done calculus 1 and heading towards calculus 2, they will realize that substituting 0 makes this function as 1 here and to the power of 1 over 0 which is infinitely large. So it is an indeterminate of the form 1 over infinity. So, in this case, which is our class C type of indeterminate, we could solve this by L'Hopital's rule. So, there are these three ways of solving this particular question. And for all the viewers, some method or the other works, correct? So, let's begin with the graphical approach and see how to solve it using a graph. So, okay. So basically, what we'll do is we'll just plot the graph with some values of x and we'll make x approaching 0. Okay. So what I'm trying to say here is that we can take some values of x and for each value of x, we'll calculate what is 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. Since we need to approach to 0, good set of values should be, we can begin with 0 0.1, we can go to 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, 0 0.4, 0 .4, 0 .4, 0 .4, 0 0.0, right? We could even go more for it. That is how we'll kind of do it, right? And we'll see what really happens when we calculate these values. So let's try to figure this out. Now, a few more things to understand. And that is, what happens when x is very large? Right? This is when x is... Okay, let's talk about this. And let's also talk about... Uh, this is approaching 0, right? So what we're doing here is basically, we are approaching 0, correct? 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 the values are becoming smaller and smaller, closer to 0. Perfect. Okay. You clearly know that if x is large, right, in that case, what happens, right? This exponential power will be like uh, 1 over large, which is 0. Something over 0, we expect that to be 1. But anyway, we'll see that part also while sketching this particular graph. Okay, now let's work this out. Using the calculator, we'll calculate. So within brackets, we have 1 plus 0.1, bracket close, power. I'll put this in power, brackets, 1 divided by 0.1, and see what this is. This is equal to 2.5937426. Okay. Now we are going to change this value of 0 0.1 to 0 0.01. 0 0.01 gives us what? It gives us 2.704813829. Let's change this to 001. It doesn't really take much time, right? 2.716923932. Now one more zero. So we are getting actually closer to zero. Limit is 
go as close as you can okay so it's 2.7181459 27 now one more zero let this be the last one okay so we are adding one more zero here and now it gives us a value which is 2.7182682327 let's go one more step i just wrote this so all right so for us it is simpler same formula being applied many times Okay, let this be the last one. A two eight zero four six nine. So we got some value, but I'm saying it is the project E. Let's find what is the value of E, right? Let's see what is E equals to. So on this calculator, we do have E also, and uh, let's see what this E value is. Well, the value of E is two point seven one eight two eight one eight. Eight. what do you notice we have matched up to up to this point do you see that the trend is that the value is increasing so zero will become one right so we might just approach to this correct so what you really see here is that the process clearly indicates that as we approach 0, the function 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x approaches e. Perfect. Now, if you use a graphing calculator and if you sketch this graph, right? If you sketch this graph, then the result will be what? The result will be kind of like this. Right? So, where you will find that this point here is E, right so it is between slightly less than 3 right so that will be e which is exactly this number 2718 whatever correct and you'll find that this is horizontally asymptotic to 1 correct so that is how you're going to see this graph on a graphing calculator perfect so so here we can clearly say that as we are approaching zero, as we are approaching zero from either side, the value which we are approaching is E, perfect. So that is your function. Is that clear to you? So that is one way of doing it. So you could use graphing calculator or estimate using the values and calculator, correct? So that is one way. Now, let us see how to prove this using the definition of derivatives. Now, we will apply the second method of finding the limit of our function 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. And that is by definition of derivatives. So, I hope you recall what is the derivative for ln x. Well, if my function f of x is equal to ln x, then the derivative, let me write f dash x, is basically 1 over x. Okay? What is the value of this at x equals to 1? The value is 1 over 1, which is 1. So, what we understand that the derivative of ln x at x equals to 1 is 1. Now we are going to use this particular derivative to find the limit of the given function. Perfect and see how. We are going to also use the basic definition of derivatives. Okay. So what is the basic definition of derivatives? Using limits, right? It is a tangent slope of the tangent correct so at one for the given function and our we are saying our function now is let me highlight the function we're talking about this function okay now so for this particular function the derivative at one is what 
by definition it is limit h approaches 0 for f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 over h right so this is the definition of derivatives perfect now from here what is f of 1 plus h well we could also say that we could write this as limit x approaches 0 for f of 1 plus x minus f of 1 over x okay now the function is ln x so i will write this as limit x approaches 0 ln 1 plus x minus ln 1 over x clear now ln 1 is 0 since you know that ln 1 is 0 right so this portion is 0 so we get 1 over x so what we get here is basically limit x approaches 0 for 1 over x ln 1 plus x since ln 1 is 0 clear now I could write this as using the properties of uh, logarithmic functions right that goes into the exponent right so we could write limit x approaches 0 for ln 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x do you see that part right so using the properties of now limits that's the limit of logarithmic function we could also write this as log ln limit of x approaches 0 of 1 over 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x clear now what is this equal to? we know this is equal to 1 correct since we know f dash 1 is 1 we know this is 1 we want to find what we want to find this particular limit correct so this particular limit is e to the power of 1 right so from here, from here, you get e to the power of 1 is equal to limit x approaches 0 for 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. So that means this is e, right? So using the definition of derivatives, we have shown that the limit of this particular function as x approaches 0 is e perfect so that's an excellent way of doing it now in part three let us see how to use L'Hopital's rule to find the same limit perfect so we need to evaluate limit when x approaches zero for one plus x to the power of one over x so if i substitute zero here i get one plus zero to the power of one over zero right so this is one to the power of infinity correct so that is basically our type C, right? Indeterminate. Now to solve such kinds of uh, limits, what we need to do is we need to write this in exponential form, right? So let us say that this is basically equal to say y, right? So let y be equal to the limit x approaches 0 for 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. Now I could write this right hand side as e to the power of ln since they are inverse of one another, correct? Of the whole function which is, which is uh, 1 plus x to the power of 1 over x, correct? Well let me write limit now outside here then I'll take it in right now using the properties of limit basically I'm saying it is e to the power of limit x approaches 0 of ln 
1 plus x to the power of 1 over x. Is that clear to you? So what we did here was that we have written the function in the exponential form. Now, using our logarithmic rules, we could write this as e limit x approaches 0. Now that comes here as 1 over x times ln 1 plus x. Correct? Now, we have to find the limit of uh, the exponent here. So let's do this on the side. So we'll now basically calculate the limit when x approaches 0 for 1 over x ln 1 plus x. So in this type C, what we really do is we write it in the form of 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity to apply the L'Hopital's rule. And intermediate step is to write it as a fraction, as a rational expression. So this is a rational expression. We can write this as limit x approaches 0. We have ln 1 plus x over x, correct? Now, if I substitute 0 here, what do I get? I get ln 1 plus 0 over 0, correct? Now, ln 1 is 0, so we get 0 over 0 form. Since we get 0 over 0 form, we can now apply L'Hopital's rule. Is that clear to you, right? So, that means, that means derivative of both numerator and denominator, right? That's what we are going to do. So, let me write down, applying the L'Hopital's rule, which literally means that the limit is same as the limit of their derivatives of numerators and denominator, correct? Now, derivative of ln 1 plus x is 1 over 1 plus x, correct? And the derivative of x is 1, so that's what we get, correct? That is to say, what we get now is limit x approaches 0 of 1 over 1 plus x. Now we can substitute 0 for x, and once we do that, what do we get? We get 1 over 1 plus 0, which is 1. So, 1 is not our answer. What is our answer? Well, let's substitute this here back, correct? So, we get e to the power. This whole limit, we just found it to be 1. So, y is equal to e to the power of 1, which is e. And therefore, this limit is e. Does it make sense to you? So that is how you could actually find the limit using L'Hopital's rule. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to share it with your friends. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.